All right, y'all, welcome back to another redstone video. Today I have a neat little design for a lockout buzzer. Um, so what does that mean? Well, I'm glad that I asked. Um, basically, imagine uh, you're playing a game show, like Family Feud. Um, one player comes up from both sides, then, you know, there's Steve Harvey up there with his mustache, and he asks us a question, and so I think I have a good answer, so I hit the button really quickly, and it lights up. Um, and then, you know, I give him a stupid answer, and then he looks at me with that, like, blank expression. You know, the one that he does every single episode, like, several times, and he makes a million dollars for doing so. The important thing to learn from this is that the red, the red player uh, hits the button just, like, a second later, and then nothing happens. So, what happens if the red player does it, like, just before the blue player? So, uh, we get asked a question, red player buzzes in, and then blue player buzzes. Nothing. The idea of it being a game show buzzer is just one use for this, um, but in reality it's actually super versatile because what we have here is, I guess you could call like a winner detection system. Um, basically it rewards the winner, whoever comes in first, and then gives nothing to anyone who comes after. So let's say you're running a race or an obstacle course and there's two players and they're, you know, they're neck and neck. One comes and hits the button right at the end, other player comes up and hits the button right after him and then gets nothing. Uh, so yeah, you can have just like a clear detection of who's actually won the race. You could also hook it up to like a trip wire, and so whoever like runs through their string first to make it a little more realistic. Um, and then instead of just lights, you could hook it up to fireworks and note blocks and stuff like that and just make it really, really fancy for the winner. And then uh, second place gets a uh, diddly squat. So you may be wondering what happens in the event of a tie, and I will show you. Um, place your bets now. It's actually pretty uh, easy to figure out. <laughs> so if you hit them at the exact same time, yes, it's a tie, and then both sides light up. Um, you'd have to be like frame perfect, the exact same tick, which I imagine would be pretty rare to happen, um, but that is what happens. Now, this does become a little bit of a problem if, let's say, blue player is just one tick behind. Um, yeah, both of them still light up. So that is not ideal because this person technically did do it later um, and so they should you know not get the the winner light up thing and this is actually a problem up to four ticks a full repeater so if we we've already reset oh well um, but yeah so you see blue player is four ticks behind and they still light up now it's pretty obvious to tell that the the red one lit up first but it's still not ideal um, not ideal but also not a big deal because um, four ticks is less than half of a second. You can see that if we do five ticks, which is exactly half a second, then red player still wins. So uh, again, it it could be a little bit better to be a little bit more accurate, but I think if you use this at like the end of a race, you know, there's no way that the players will be that close to where it would matter. And then even if they were, you can still tell which one lights up first. Um, it's just not a, it's not a perfect system. I figured I would, I would just throw that out there now before I get into the tutorial and you decided to build this for yourself. I don't know if this is a deal breaker. Personally, I don't think so, but whatever. It's, um, it's all up to you. Now let's get into how it actually works. And this is all of the redstone behind it. There's actually not that much. It's not a very complicated system and it's actually pretty compact. Um, it all just fits right here, minus all this. This is just extra fluff though. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So when we hit one of these buttons, what'll happen is this redstone lamp will turn on and then the observers here will observe it as they do. Uh, and then send a one tick pulse into these dots of redstone dust and then that will send power through these gold blocks and activate this redstone. Um, and the idea is that as soon as you get through the gold block, you've won because what happens next is this uh, redstone will power this dropper, which has a potato in it. It can be any item you want. I just think the fact that this thing is powered by potatoes is comical. So it'll um, drop that into this other dropper where a comparator will take the output and send it through this repeater and it'll send it through this blue line, this blue line right here, and it will power both of these pistons. Um, this is a bug, hold on. It, wor it, it works whenever the piston's extended like that just because it's a bug or something, I don't know. Um, but let's pretend we didn't see that. <laughs> um, it'll power both of these pistons so that you can't send any more redstone through. So let's just see that in action. Uh, if we 
power the red one, then yeah, you can see it all happens pretty quickly. Um, shoots the potato up here. It's now up here powering the piston. So if we were to hit the button again uh, on either side, the power would not be able to get through because the piston's blocking it and the gold block is removed out of the way. Uh, so that's basically the lockout in effect. Um, the reason for that four tick delay that we talked about earlier is just this. As soon as you get through the gold block, uh, you've won, but you still need to close the gold block behind you and for the other player so that they can't also win. Um, but there's a four tick delay because it's a tick for this dropper to spit the item into the other dropper. Um, another tick for the comparator to take the uh, output. Another tick to go through the repeater and then another tick for the piston to extend. So that's, that's four ticks right there. All of these things are necessary. I haven't figured out a way to uh, reduce it down to just one tick. I don't know if it's possible. I kind of doubt it. But yeah, so on the other side, there's just another comparator and that runs all the way up into the lights at the top. And then this right here, this purple line is the reset button. And all that does is the button is right here. It powers this purple line and it just goes into the top droppers. So this potato will be spit back down into the dropper below and the whole system will be reset. So that is pretty much uh, the whole thing explained. One last thing that I actually forgot to mention about this design was that it is modular, which means it can be infinitely expanded. So right here I have like a four player version of it, which I actually designed this whole thing out of necessity uh, for this game. Uh, this is a mini game, which is kind of a spoiler for my survival series, Happy Fun World, because I am going to be building it uh, pretty soon. But uh, it's like a day at the races type of mini game where you bet on who's going to win. Let's just say I placed my bet on Valentino here, because why wouldn't I? Uh, so Valentino, let's say he wins the race and he's going to roll in his minecart. He's going to roll over a minecart pressure plate, uh, whichever that's called. Uh, and you can see all the gold blocks activated and the lamp has turned on. So when all the rest of the sheep roll over their pressure plates at the end, uh, you can see nothing is going to happen because the gold blocks are out of the way and the redstone poles can't travel through. So yeah, that's just one of an infinite amount of applications that you could use this little system with. Um, it's incredibly versatile for things like races and mini games and even game show buzzers why not? Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I have for today. So thank you for watching and being beautiful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you can figure out a way to reduce that four tick delay, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will be eternally grateful. And I guess that, oh, and subscribe, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Yeah, that's like the most important one. I don't know. I keep, I keep forgetting to say that one. Isn't that right, Valentino? Oh, he's ignoring. Oh, he's, no, still kind of ignoring me. He's looking up at the, at the sky. He's pretending he can't hear me. God, what a diva. <sighs> and I bet it on you. Oh, he just, he just nodded at me and turned away. Ah, oh, God, what a disaster. That's it.